Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to push your local Flutter project into GitHub. And I will show you some basic Git command. So here I have created a Flutter project. This Flutter project code stored in my local computer and it's only editable and accessible by me. So GitHub provides internet hosting service and version control. By pushing the local project to GitHub, it means that now the project is accessible by anyone that have access to internet. And version control helps us to track all the changes that made to this project. Now let's start pushing the code file to GitHub. Firstly, you have to have an account in GitHub and log in to that account. Next, on the left, click on create repository. Provide a name for the repository and you can set if you want it to be public or private and click on create repository. After created the repository, now we will push the local Flutter code file into this repository. To push the code file, firstly, go to the project terminal and type git init. This command will initialize an empty git repository in your local Flutter project. And this local git repository help us to keep track on the changes that made in this file. Next, we have to enter git add dot in the terminal. Git add dot means it will add all the unstaged file. Once we added the unstaged file, now we can commit to our local device using git commit. And we can add a commit message using dash m for us to tag what changes have we made in this commit. Because this is the first commit, so it will add all the Flutter project files. Next is to create a master branch. Since we only have one branch, so we will make this branch as the master branch using git branch dash m and the branch name, which is main. Now we want to target this Flutter project to push to the repository that we created just now in GitHub. Go back to the GitHub repository and copy this line and run that line in terminal. Now the last step is to enter git push command. For first git push of every new branch, it requires you to add additional upstream command. And now we successfully push our local Flutter code to GitHub. Let's check our GitHub repository. Now when we refresh the GitHub page, as you can see, the whole project files has been uploaded to GitHub. And this is how we upload Flutter project to GitHub. Next, I will be showing you some basic GitHub command. Git branches are created locally in your device. Only when you call git push on specific branch, that branch will then create it in the repository. Else, all the branch will remain locally. In order to check what are the branches stored locally, we use git branch command. And it shows I have only one main branch. Next, I will show you how to create a new branch. To create a new branch, we use git checkout dash b and the new branch name. It not only create the branch, it will switch us to that branch as well. Now when we enter git branch command, we can see that a new branch added. Next, I will show you how to check what are the changes made in the project. To check the changes, we use git status command. It says the working tree is clean because just now, the first time when we push, after that we did not make any changes to the file. Now let me make some changes to the main file by removing some text. And now when we enter git status command again, as you can see, it says the main.dart file is modified. Next, to undo the changes, we use git reset dash dash hard command. Now, as you can see, the text that I removed just now is undo. Next, I will be showing you how to merge the changes from one branch to your branch. Now, let me make some changes in this new branch. So we have modified the main.dart file. Now we will commit these changes. To merge the changes from this branch, changes from this branch have to be committed first. Now we have committed our changes in the new branch.
Since we only have two branch now, we will check out to the main branch. Before that, remember that we removed some tags in line 27. Now when we check out to the main branch, line 27 tags is not modified. This is because the modified changes apply to the new branch only. To get the changes of new branch into the main branch, we use git merge command. And now you see line 27, it automatically add the changes. Next, I will show you how to get the changes from the repository. If a team working in a single project, some people might push the changes to the repository. To get their changes from the repository, we use git pull command. If your current project is the same as the repository code, it will show you already up to date. If not, it will pull the changes and update your code. Next, I will show you how to push your local changes to the GitHub repository. It's the same as pushing for the first time. Just now, we merged the changes from the new branch. So when we enter git status command, it says that this branch is ahead of origin by one commit. Origin here means the GitHub repository. Now, we just have to enter git push command to push the commit to the github repository. Now we can go back to github repository and check if the changes is made. So as you can see in the main.dat file, in line 27, some text is removed, which means that the changes is updated. And this is all the basics for git command. There are some more advanced git command such as git rebase. From my experience, I don't suggest junior developer to touch on those commands because it requires you to have a very strong knowledge on git flow, git architecture, how the branch works and more. Any small mistakes on those advanced command could mess up your changes and affect your delivery timeline on your task. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next tutorial.